Okay, video two in the series of discarding assets. Now we're on the second problem. All information stays the same. The reason why we're doing it is the same. Here, what we're doing is a little different because now we're selling the machine. It had some sort of value and we were able to sell it for $8,000 cash. So again, our math stays the same. We have this missing money of $10,000 here, which is basically our carrying value of that asset. We have our truck and our accumulated depreciation, which is still treated exactly the same. But now because we received cash, our journal entry is a little bit different. So we still have the same information here in regards to January 1st, 2019. Cash is an asset. Therefore, when we receive cash, cash coming in, that is a debit. And it is always listed first because it is the most liquid asset that we have. So cash, we received $8,000. Then we still have to do the same journal entries over here. We have $39,000 of accumulated depreciation. And then we have our truck worth $49,000. So we have to get rid of that. All right, to record This is a little bit different than the first one. The first one, we just discarded the asset completely. It had no value. Here, we've got $8,000 value. But if you plug in all these numbers in your calculator, we still come up missing. We are not exactly the same. So we have a $10,000 discrepancy here, and we have $8,000 here. So if you plug in all those numbers, if you plug in $49,000, subtract $39,000, and then you subtract the $8,000, you'll show that you are $2,000 below that carrying value. So it's literally a loss. Again, just record it as a loss. It can be loss on sale. You can be as specific here as you want, but you can also just put as a loss. So we have our date, our debit, our credit. Our debit side matches our credit side and to record the loss on sale. That's it for the second one. See you in the third one.